The results take 15 minutes, but it actually took drivers much longer than that to get to that testing site. They had to wait in long lines in Balcones Heights for a rapid COVID test. We've told you all about customers clearing store shelves of those at home COVID-19 tests, but it's not stopping people from getting tested after visiting with family for Christmas. It seems like we are starting to see a rapid rise in coronavirus cases in our area right now. Metro Health's data is on hold during the holidays, but the state is relaying some data for Bear County. 957 probable or confirmed cases were reported yesterday. Today, that number is now 828, a slight decrease, but still pretty high. Now, with COVID cases climbing, doctors say that we're currently in yet another surge, but we're trying to figure out how the Omicron variant factors into that and how San Antonio compares to other cities. The night team's Lee Waldman brought those questions to the genome sequencing lab where they're stepping up their efforts. We are extremely busy right now with the increase in testing that we're seeing with the current surge. Between clinical COVID tests and genome sequencing, the workload at UT Health San Antonio lab is increasing. Dr. Marjorie David and her team are seeing a change. Delta, once dominant, is now being replaced by the quickly spreading Omicron variant. The important number is just the proportion um, of positive cases um, that are Omicron. Um, and, you know, as, as early as the 17th, we had 25% Omicron. That's one out of every four tests processed coming back as Omicron. The lab only processes a portion of these tests from Metro Health, University Health, and UT Health, but it may paint the picture of what's happening across the county. According to the Texas Department of State Health Services website, it's the same statewide. The week of December 11th, Omicron accounted for 24.8% of cases. A week later, it nearly quadrupled to 84.9% of COVID cases. I expect that we have currently at this point in time, 90 to 100% Omicron in Bear County. The lab is expecting to see that reflection in their results in the coming weeks. Remember, it can take about two weeks to get results. Omicron can double in proportion so very, very quickly that we're not able to keep up with the day-to-day -day data of what's happening in real time. Right now, Metro Health is only reporting seven cases of Omicron in Bear County. Since it's the holidays, their website is on hold until January 3rd. For now, case counts are coming from the state. They don't break things down by variant. While the number seven might seem low when it comes to Omicron cases, it's not far off from neighboring cities. As of December 21st, Austin is only reporting three confirmed cases of Omicron. They have to wait on their data from the state lab. The city of Houston is reporting 31 confirmed cases of Omicron as of December 11th. The Houston Health Department doesn't keep a continuing case, case count of Omicron cases. Instead, they do something similar to what we do here. Only a portion of their positive tests go through genome sequencing at Houston Methodist. Reporting live, Lee Waldman, KSAT 12 News.